Hey guys, this is Austin, and welcome to a very special edition of Mystery Tech, this time entirely focused on items that can waste our money on, straight from Japan. Kirby headphones. Okay, I immediately appreciate the old school pixel art style. Wait, it's 5,000 yen? How much is 5,000 yen? 5,000 Japanese yen equals 45 United States dollars and 62 cents. Okay, that's not so bad. So if you guys didn't know, Ken goes to Japan every once in a while. And by every once in a while, I mean like every weekend. Wow. Oh, it's actually like hard plastic. They're oddly hollow. Like, I feel like I hear like, you know like when you put your ear up to like a seashell or something? That's kind of what it sounds like to have me wearing these headphones. Not great. Okay, look. They're cool. For 45 bucks, I don't know. But, I mean, if you're really into Kirby, just don't use them as headphones. <laughs> oh, more headphones. The Xperia Ear Duo, wireless open ear stereo headsets. Music and communication while listening to the surrounding sound. Enjoy closed the ears your own tube design. Man, nothing says weird tech from Japan like Sony. So I guess the idea here is that these are supposed to be kind of like AirPods. So it looks like they're actually going to be completely independent and wireless. How much is 30,000 yen? 30,000 Japanese yen equals 273 United States dollars and 26 cents. Sometimes I regret giving Ken a company credit card. <laughs> Generally speaking, when it comes to tech, it's not actually that weird when you go to different countries. Generally, pretty much everyone has the same kind of stuff. But I feel like Japan is always the exception. There's always this sort of extra weird stuff there. That's a, wow, well, hold on a second. That's a really bizarre setup. So this is the actual headphone, but I guess that's the sort of the opening for your ear. Oh, so this actually isn't out in the US yet. No. Oh, interesting. So this is a, an exclusive, some would say, straight from Japan. Wait, here, I should figure out how to get them paired first. Okay, oh, you need an app. Okay, so searching for devices, make sure it's turned on. How do you turn it on though? Oh, oh, it's magnetic. Okay, that actually makes it kind of cool. One of the things I didn't like about the Pixel Buds was it was really kind of fiddly to be able to like rewind the cable around. Like that? Oh. Oh yeah. Okay, it's a little weird to get used to on how you're actually supposed to do that, but that feels pretty decent to me. Okay. So I'm listening to music right now, and it sounds decent. It's not really a uh, particularly loud or rich sound, but what's interesting is, is that it's really not blocking any of my hearing. So I can still hear everything just fine. Can say something? Right. Yeah, I can hear you completely fine. So it's almost like kind of having like some background music. It's not like listening to proper headphones. Sound quality is not going to be amazing. They sound okay. Um, but it's not really for listening. I can still hear everything around me right now. This is a really interesting idea, but I think it's not really correct to call them headphones. That's not really necessarily something like an AirPods competitor. What this really is, is a way of getting an assistant without actually being able to block out the rest of the world. Niche phone, whoa, whoa, that's, that's actually really cool. So it looks like it charges with some pogo pins on the back, but it does accept a nano SIM, as well as it has 3G tethering. So if you wanna use this in addition to, say, an actual smartphone, you can. Whoa, that's it? That's the whole phone, are you serious? Okay, so I saw the picture, and I thought it was gonna be bigger than this. That's the whole phone right there. Okay. How much was this? So 10,000 yen? 10,000 Japanese yen equals 91 United States dollars okay. and four cents. Much more reasonable. Okay, we're up. We have contacts, messages, calls, music, voice memos, Bluetooth, alarm, and settings. Let's do settings. So I can see the tiny little text here. I can also scroll down to type the message. All right, what's your number? I mean, I know that there's weird tech out there, but like the idea of having a phone that's this small it's cool, and I think for some people, if you want a backup phone, I mean, it does do hotspot. In theory, you can do stuff with Bluetooth, I guess if you load music in via this micro USB adapter, but man, this is, I, I'm actually impressed. I still don't understand how it runs Android, though. That makes zero sense to me. Why are you handing me a Switch? You got some Switch accessories. Really? Japanese, okay, Japanese Switch accessories, got it. A felt pouch for the Switch. It's mildly Japanese and weird, but besides that, actually it feels kind of nice. So if I drop the Switch inside and close it, no one can tell I'm carrying a Switch. Where, where are you going with this? Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I'm getting flashbacks to the connected desk or the porta desk or whatever that thing was. It's just, it's just a bendy thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, 
everyone's like, the Switch is so heavy, it's so giant, it's so difficult to, you know, use in your hands because it is unwieldy and ridiculous. So this is obviously the way to play. And you know, I actually have to say, it's not crazy. I feel like this is just kind of, oh God. What am I doing? What is this? A traditional Japanese fan? But why does it say USB? What? <laughs> this is it? This is the fan? This is all there is to it? All right, so after a slightly long time of building this stupid fan, let's actually plug it in and see what it does. Okay. Okay, I put the, the goopy thing on the bottom. <laughs> oh, it's like slime. Are you serious? <laughs> well, I mean, when you're vigorously fanning yourself, maybe you need a little bit of extra sticky action. I'm gonna put this down and move on because this is getting really weird. Yo, yo, you did not, you did not. This is not. Is this a, <gasps> dude, 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 look at that. That is so legit. It's still in the original packaging. I mean, even the foam is not that old. So if you guys are not familiar, this is an original Nintendo Famicom. And oh, look at the games you got. Mother, Excite Bike, Donkey Kong, Rockman, not Mega Man, Ice Climber, and Super Mario Bros. Dude, that is, Ah, uh, uh, all right, I'm excited now. That is not what I expected to get today. Um, I can't believe you got one in the box. Like this looks like pristine packaging. I almost don't want to open it. It's like, it's too nice. So if you guys are not familiar, this is essentially the Japanese version of the NES. So they actually did it, uh, it's slightly different uh, looking, um, but as far as the actual system itself, it shouldn't be any different at all. Um, actually, well, I take it back, there were some slight differences as far as the controller, right? Because didn't the controller have a microphone on it? So image quality, not the best due to our um, terrible adapter situation, but whatever. Oh, 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 no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Oh, this is, this is bad. There we go, all right. Mario, game that I really should know how to play better than I actually do. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no you don't, no you don't. Get over here, get over here, get over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, that was dangerous. Oh, well that was a terrible jump. But the Famicom is real. Now, yes, is it basically the same thing as an NES? Pretty much. Is it way cooler though? Absolutely. And if you thought this was weird, definitely be sure to go check out the last episode of Mystery Tech where we checked out some of the most bizarre, cheap stuff we could find on Amazon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.